Hi everyone, welcome back to channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys are doing good. Today we will discuss about uh, one of the sequels of our wizard, the backup wizard, and we can see uh, how it's helping uh, a lot. Okay, so before starting the session, uh, I would request to each and everyone who ever newly joined our channel, please like, do subscribe, and don't forget to share. Please visit the channel playlist, and if you are getting help, please do subscribe, and you can contribute as a YouTube thanks. You can join as a channel member also. Okay. So let me start before starting the session. So the today agenda is basically uh, how the backup wizard is still helping to us. Okay, so let's assume you are uh, responsible to do the particular SQL Server instance, uh, applying the SQL Server patch. Okay, and on particular instance, lot of database is running, uh, but when you are going to apply the patch, you must should take the backup of of all the database, including the system database. Okay. So, in a one shot, how you can do it? Do that, okay? So basically, this wizard will re really helping here. Actually, I will show you how to do that. Let's assume an instance lab zero one which need to patch, okay? So before starting the patching, what we'll do? Uh, we can segregate the times and all. Uh, how how much database? Uh, how, how many database is present on particular instance? And what is the size of database? So based on that calculation, you can initiate the backup according to your change window. Okay, so go to the management. Okay, and here you can see the maintenance plan. Right click on the maintenance plan, maintenance plan wizard. You can open that. Go to next. It's a very simple. Just you can type it the name of the maintenance plan. I'm I'm giving the full backup. Okay, backup full. Okay, uh, here couple of things, uh, you know, uh, either you want to separate a schedule for each task or single schedule or, or, or no schedule. So I'm going with uh, this single schedule because I need one time. I, uh, after that, I will delete these jobs. If you want to schedule, you can go and change the schedule window here. We'll discuss later in a separate video, but at this time, I need a one time execution. So they will go with the default, then next. Here, couple of things already i explained in the previous video how to do the schedule maintenance for all each and every task but right now i'm going to take the full backups okay so i'm going to select the full backups and then next okay it will take you the next screen and now here it will ask you the you know which database you want to take so in my case i'm going to take the all the database backups including the system database okay right uh, click okay it will go to your disk okay the destination you can uh, mark it here where you want to put uh, okay so let me give one destination backup okay so whatever the destination you can mark it here you can tick this checkbox it will create a subfolder based on your database name okay the extension will be like this this option tab you can leave it as it is okay and just click on a next Okay, so I'm giving the wrong location. So let me, I think, let me see the location first. Okay, this is the location. So let me give the correct location. Okay, I think location is wrong. Some problem in directory, hope it should take now. Yeah, it's taking. So in this location, you can uh, see the log is going to write in this location. You can read the logs after completing the jobs. Okay. If you want to email schedule, so you can schedule the email, but make sure, uh, you know, uh, email configuration is enabled on your particular instance. Next. Okay. Then finish. So it will take hardly one minute. Yes, it's success. So maintenance task is created. You can, as you can see the full backups and this maintenance task definitely create a jobs okay sql server jobs if you come in here see the jobs backup full plans now you go ahead and start this jobs so what it will take it will take all the backups so you no need to do manual interaction here to do the backups for each and every database one by one simply just simply create a maintenance task before patching and execute it according to your time window and once the, while the backup is completed, you can have a tea and coffee and then come back see the jobs is succeeded or not or if, if any issue. Make sure, but make sure before, uh, you know, executing these jobs, you have uh, enough space 
where you want to keep the backups that's you should need to calculate and validate prior okay as you can see it's success i'm going to validate now whether the backup is created or not okay let me minimize little bit of screen hope you can see as you can see all the job backups created with a subfolder why this uh, folder name is coming because while creating the maintenance task i have checked the subfolder so in in the folder you can see the backups backup file this is your backup files okay so hope you got the point what i'm trying to say it will really, really save your timings and manual effort so you can use this wizard and later if you want to delete it you can go simply and delete it right click and delete because it's a one time activity backup is done you have a backup in placed in a your defined location so you can delete this maintenance task not an issue okay so hope you got got the things in the next video i will come with the other topics till then bye bye thank you and keep watching and keep subscribe thank you